morning. We will start the morning call. U.S. markets uh, closed lower by 0.2 percent uh, yesterday, after having rallied uh, by a combined 6 percent over Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Fed officials continue to insist on uh, aggressive rate tightening to battle inflation, which the market has feared would lead to a hard landing and uh, likely recession. A forward price to earnings uh, for the U.S. markets is currently at uh, 16 times now, uh, close to its uh, historic mean. Uh, down from around uh, 22 times uh, before the market's uh, slide began this year. Uh, thus, the we feel the short-term up move in the U.S. markets may have some more legs uh, before again reversing. Uh, Asian markets are trading a uh, half a percent higher. Uh, OPEC uh, has decided to reduce uh, daily oil production by two million barrels on Wednesday, sending the Brent crude oil benchmark to a, a three-week high of uh, around ninety-five dollars. Uh, below the ninety dollar mark, uh, which we saw last week, uh, I will now invite the technical team to take the call forward. Yes, uh, thank you, Jian. Good morning, all of you. This is Fati. Looking towards the Asian markets, we believe our Nifty is likely to open with a gap up, and we are likely to witness some positive momentum during the day. Uh, day before yesterday, we have seen that the Nifty had shown a very good bounce back rally after seventeen thousand breakout levels towards seventeen thousand three hundred levels, and it has maintained a positive closing above the same, which gives the indication that the this pullback rally is likely to be continued towards seventeen thousand four hundred levels on the upside. So for today, intraday purpose, the first resistance is placed at seventeen thousand three seventy. Any more above that level, we expect the rally to be continued towards seventeen four forty to seventeen thousand five hundred levels. Whereas on the downside, the first support is placed at seventeen thousand two hundred levels. Any more below that level on the closing basis, might expect some profit bookings, which might take a nifty back towards seventeen thousand. So the view will remain a positive as long as the uh, nifty sustains above seventeen thousand psychological mark. Coming towards the bank nifty uh, for today intraday purpose, thirty nine thousand three twenty is the first resistance level we need to keep eye on it. About that level, thirty nine thousand five hundred and thirty nine thousand seven hundred levels can be seen on the higher side. Whereas on the downside, thirty eight thousand seven fifty, thirty eight thousand three eighty are the crucial support level we need to keep eye on it. Coming towards the Nifty Finance, seventeen thousand three hundred, seventeen thousand four twenty is the resistance zone. Uh, whereas on the downside, seventeen thousand seventy and sixteen thousand nine forty are the support levels we need to keep eye on it. Stock specific, uh, since we are looking a very uh, stock specific momentum uh, in this market. KPIT uh, really looks very good since the IT stocks are really doing very well uh, from the last few trading sessions. So I believe that the KPIT uh, may hit the may hit the level of seven hundred in the coming few trading sessions. One can go for a long positions with a stop loss of six fifty two for a target of seven hundred. Mm, another stocks, chemical industries are, are doing very well uh, on the Tuesday. Also, we have seen a very positive momentum in this particular sector. Uh, from this sectorial pack, Tata Chemical looks very good on the technical front. If we look towards the weekly chart, the stock has given the breakout of a flag pattern. So we believe that it has a potential to reach up to twelve twenty levels uh, on high side. So one can go for a long in Tata Chemicals for a target of one two two zero with the trailing stop loss of one one eight five. I think that's it from my end. I request everybody guys take a call forward. Uh, thank you, Swati. Uh, good morning, all of you. This is Ayush. I'll be covering the derivative part for today. So, as per the derivatives data, it indicates that uh, there has been a strong pullback in the market as per the open interest positions, and there has been heavy liquidation of call writers from seventeen thousand to seventeen thousand two hundred strike price, which indicates a positive sign for the market in today's scenario. Another positive factor here is India VIX has dropped sharply towards nineteen point five level, which is a good sign. Now talking about the resistance, upside resistance for Nifty as per the data is is currently placed at seventeen thousand five hundred, and the important support for Nifty is placed at seventeen thousand two hundred. Again, we would like to mention that if Nifty goes below seventeen thousand two hundred strike to seventeen thousand two hundred levels, and if we see a sell off in the market, and uh, and there's a closing below seventeen thousand two hundred, then short short will be again activated in the market, and there will there will be a chance of profit booking. That's all from my side. I request fundamental guys to take the call forward. Yeah. Uh, uh, the banking uh, sector updates continue to come uh, for quarter two. Uh, 
uh, during Tuesday itself, uh, HDFC Bank had declared, but since it is a large uh, bank, uh, uh, we will discuss that uh, briefly. The advances uh, grew by 6% uh, sequentially uh, and 23% uh, year on year. Uh, which is a, a very high number compared to the system growth of six, around uh, 16%. And the loan book uh, now stands at 14,80,000 crores. So even at this high base, uh, HDFC Bank continues to outperform most of the other private sector banks. So um, should be positive for the bank. Bajaj Finance uh, uh, update was also uh, uh, good. Advances grew 7% sequentially and 31% year on year. And loan book now stands at uh, two lakh eighteen thousand crores. EU Small Finance Bank uh, also continued to post uh, good growth. Uh, sequential loan growth was six percent, and uh, year on year uh, it grew by forty four percent. Loan book stands at fifty two thousand crores. Punawala FinCorp, uh, the NBFC, uh, uh, also reported good numbers. Uh, advances grew five percent sequentially, twenty one percent year on year. Uh, loan book at eighteen thousand five hundred crores. Uh, also, they have said that uh, disbursement momentum is very strong and uh, uh, disbursements grew 8% sequentially, 44% year on year. And uh, the month of September uh, witnessed the uh, highest disbursement for the uh, co in the company's history. So this gives good indication that uh, second half will be good. Also, GNPA came at uh, below 1.6% uh, versus 2.2% in June quarter. So uh, over there also we saw good improvement. Um, there is news that uh, Ratnamani Metals and Tubes, which is basically into manufacturing of uh, uh, carbon and stainless steel tubes, uh, company is now diversifying. They will uh, be acquiring Ravi Technoforge. Uh, it's a private company uh, which is uh, into manufacturing of uh, bearing rings, gear, gear blanks and other similar bearing components. The cost of acquisition for the first tranche, which is around 53% stake, is at 98 crores. Uh, so Ravi Technoforge uh, sales uh, are at around 280 crores uh, with a profit of 10 crores, implying a uh, valuation uh, uh, of around uh, PE of around 18 times. So we feel this uh, company is going in the right direction, Ratnamani, and uh, this will uh, uh, you know add value to the company. So uh, it is positive for Ratnamani Metals. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. HCL Tech plans to hire 1,000 people in Brazil in the next two years and also open a new technology center in Campinas. This is neutral to the company. Uh, CCI has approved amalgamation of the entertainment with Sony Pictures with certain modifications. Uh, this is positive to the company. Thank you. Uh, commodity team uh, can take the call forward. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, uh, we expect a capable opening in uh, commodities. Um, gold uh, is likely to test 52,000 on higher end. So, buying on uh, dips is recommended. Uh, 51,700 um, with a stop loss below 51,450. Uh, Silver also, we expect prices to test 62,000 on higher end. So uh, buying is recommended uh, uh, around uh, 670, uh, 680 uh, with a stop loss below 600 and uh, sorry 60,300. Uh, crude oil also we expect uh, prices to uh, rally. Uh, so uh, buying is recommended uh, as long as it is sustaining about 7100. So can test uh, 70 to 50, 7300 on higher end. Uh, NG, we uh, feel that uh, the prices are expected to test uh, uh, 580, 585 on higher end. So buying is recommended in NG also uh, 563, 562. Again, good level to enter. One can maintain a stop loss below uh, 555. Uh, copper also we expect uh, prices to test uh, 670 75 levels so overall looks positive buying on dips is recommended uh, with a stop loss below uh, 660 uh, zinc also we feel uh, prices are expected to test uh, 285 to uh, 
86 levels. Uh, so buying with a stop loss below uh, 279 is uh, recommended. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, I'll ask Ria to take over from me. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning. So on the currency front, uh, we are seeing quite a dip into the dollar index. It has retreated from the highs. Uh, the the reason being uh, there is a quite pullback into the pound. Pound has uh, uh, advanced ten uh, percent from the lows, uh, mostly on the uh, part of uh, Bank of England. Uh, intervening into the bond market so right now overall uh, the bond yields if you look at it uh, it has it is uh, coming down thus we are seeing quite a dip into the uh, dollar index with the uh, euro and pound gaining strength uh, now uh, if you look at the numbers uh, though there is a hawkish stand uh, uh, the uh, employment numbers are still have still come on the stronger hold unemployment still remains at 3.7% so in today's uh, in today's sessions, we could see uh, rupee again going for a gap down or opening on a weaker note and could test uh, the lows of 8150, 8140. Uh, uh, for the GBP INR, we could see a gap up that can happen uh, towards uh, 93 and it will test uh, 9380, 94 in today's levels. And uh, for Euro INR also, there could be a positive uh, open. Above 8112, uh, 8118, uh, uh, 81.18, it could uh, test the highs of uh, 81.50. You can keep stop loss at 80.95. So that's all on the currency front. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.